and I'm like, oh, that's. You know, you put yourself useful. in as BCE Moosh to Moosh, BCE BCE Moosh to Moosh, right? BCE BCE Moosh to Moosh. Yes, that's so redundant. Right. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Man, I mean, if you want to be, my dude really works for the redundancy department of redundancy. I mean, he put Moosh in twice. It's uh, so there's something to be said about that. <laughs> yeah. And he know. will be facing Mighty Kamina, his uh, his partner on Bread and Belmonts, which you can see on this channel every single Thursday. It's true. So we're gonna get a Belmont ditto, aren't we? As we see, uh, <laughs> as we see, robbed of the Willie PR Dan the Man show up in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> you were consistent, but you didn't attend. So. <laughs> Oh man, that's <laughs> welcome to Philadelphia, where nobody is safe. Uh, yep, from being roasted. Everyone's safe in terms of being safe, but yeah. Yep. I don't know what you're saying, dude. Beast made Beast made top five with Charizard. I'm just saying. <laughs> that was a whole fox man, but. Dude, he's no dude. Beast is a Charizard main. I'm a Palutena main. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, that's. <laughs> why would you? Why would you go Mario out of region? <laughs> like maybe they won't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they've never played a Mario before. You'd be surprised, man. Philly used to be Mario Land, uh, Super Mario World. Uh, yeah. Back in the day, but now no, you're not wrong. You're yeah, not yeah wrong. basically, no one ever since Ninja stopped showing up, really, and then like everyone just like knew the matchup, and it's like, yeah, no bother. Yeah, I mean, even then, you see people like Take Redeemer this. Z. I doing wonder a, what character that could be. <laughs> it, it does a, it does make you wonder though. You uh, you see, you still see Redeemer Z breaking it out and having some results with it. At least yeah. he did in the, the Smash Four days. Maybe not so much in Ultimate. He's very much hanging on to. He's uh, on the Rob hype Rob. train, definitely. Well deserved too. That character. Looking kind of nice. We'll see what happens with the meta, because he's one of those characters that tends to do really well early in the game, and then fall off when people learn how to really abuse him in a bad spot. Mm -hmm. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Because like I can tell you that his strengths are stronger, and that might be enough to carry him. Once again, folks, if you want to uh, and if you want to keep up at least with the action at home, I mean, hey, the meta you can follow along at pretty much any time. But if you want to follow along with the action, what's going on at home? Smash.gg slash the monthly or exclamation point bracket in the chat if you are so inclined and once again if you are watching on the vod channel leave us a comment man we, we really appreciate your feedback always want to show uh show us some love show us uh tell us where you are watching from around the world man whether you're in philly or the philippines we love you and we love uh whether you're in philly or the peens man there you go or the <laughs> pe the peens is that what you're <laughs> <laughs> that could be taken so many ways. You know what's dude. funny? Like, <laughs> I thought it'd just be funny to shorten it. I only realized what I said after the fact. Yep. Now we're going to get a Belmont ditto. Um, a big I, I fan can't. of the peens. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, no, Bread and Belmont. <laughs> We've All right. <laughs> I play without movement. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, of course he does. So we're gonna see who uh, on Stadium Two for game number one. All right, so we got Simon versus Richter, the original versus the remix. Yeah, no, it's a uh, this. Uh, what, what was it that Sakurai said? It's hard to tell who's an echo of who. No, they're like, no, 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 no. Richter's each other. R Richter's an echo. Yeah, let's, man. Let's that's, be real. That's his, <laughs> this is that's his whole descendant. <laughs> he, wow, look at that! He's under the platform, just like Dan said. All right. <laughs> And oh uh, so <laughs> very subtle differences between Simon and Richter. I know that the uh, the Holy Water has different properties, but outside of that, can no be a little murky. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. That's so weird that it's Aura because like it doesn't get stronger with him. But I guess it's any sort of oh that that looked like Ooh. some sort of input error. I don't know if that's like a lack of notches on the Pro Controller, which that can screw you up. But uh, I mean, he was just facing the wrong way. He was. I mean, I'm just saying it could. Like, that could have been a number of things. I'm just saying if Kamina uses a Pro Controller, the fact that it doesn't have notches might have screwed him up there. Because I'm trying to use Pro Controller, and it's hard to use the Palu Warps with that. And and we got, uh, yeah, Kamina definitely standing under platforms. Which, you know, that's a good strategy for any zoner character. So, What do you think uh, What do you think the odds are that uh, Kamina forgets to disconnect his Pro Controller? Uh, which you should always do at your tournaments. I mean, when you're on stream, it's a lot harder to get away with. So forget or not, it'll probably happen. We'll yeah, see. this is true. Oh, Dash? I just think this is funny because Simon and Richter 
obviously being Echo Fighters have the same weakness of they, uh, they don't deal with up-close pressure very well at all. And uh, <laughs> so they're both kind of getting in each other's face and then immediately backing out. <laughs> so it's just funny to watch. But it's also just interesting because uh, typically in Smash, zoner versus zoner matchups um, tend to have tend to be dependent on who can out camp the other one. But these guys are dead even in that respect. Yeah, it's uh, seeing Moosh, and, and he's not really getting Ooh, any grabs either. That spot dodge, but not gonna kill because he didn't sweet spot it. Yeah, no, it's a, that is a tipper. So maybe uh, getting a little too close for comfort. Indeed, is the mighty Kamina. Ooh, let's get up there. Nice down back angled air. back air. Nice dangled back air. Dangled? <laughs> down angled. Yeah, yeah no, I, I appreciate <laughs> that. But And the and the up angled is wangled, but yep. Wangled. wangled. Yep. Wangled. Alright. Folks, if you want to tweet Ooh. about this event, use the hashtag wangled. <laughs> With a U. With but a U. <laughs> <laughs> but uh <laughs> Don't actually do that. Unless you want to. Alright, anyway, uh, but I was going to say, Mush did a really good job covering the double jump back to stage with the uh, you angled up, <laughs> you angled fair. If uh, it works, it works, okay? Infinite Omega is on production razzing me about <laughs> wangled. <laughs> Hashtag wangled. Oh, God. Oh, goodness gracious. I've ruined everything. But no, yeah. we're going to get the dash check on the... I, I help. Are, is, are we seeing a three stock right now? Because, uh, you know, Mighty Comedy has not really been able to recover from that SD. And Mush is basically just stuck, stuck to the basic Belmont game plan of, you know, keeping him out and uh, not letting him in. Like, there's no real need to, when you have a whole stock lead, there's no real need to uh, push your advantage to the point that there's a risk of uh, getting opened up too badly. And that's the thing. This is a lot of uh, Moosh teaching. Oh, he and does eventually catch him with the axe. The three stock is dead. But is it too little too late? And yeah. Oh, missed. That was actually very well timed because if, if he hung a bit later, axe would have hit him. And actually, it's usually optimal to roll in that situation because the tipper of the whip is stronger. So, getting closer to the base, even if it does, even if you have to eat a hit, it won't kill you as likely. All right, okay. down tilts him back off stage. So, am I crazier? Is Richter just a little bit faster than Simon? Or am You're I crazy. Just <laughs> okay. Well, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> There's no difference. Yeah, there really is no difference. Yeah, yeah they're, they're not like they're not like Ken. Yeah. Outside of the holy water uh, properties, mm -hmm. nothing. Okay. Well, shoot. And really, it was looking, if anything, it was looking like Simon might have been faster than Richter considering how Moosh was playing with we that character and uh, sticking ooh, and moving ooh, and we, winning. We have a controversial pick. And by controversial, I mean if you don't if you don't want this stage legal, you ban it or you're a coward. All right, we're going to WarioWare. Oh, <laughs> wow. And Oh, yeah, he switched to Krom, and you can tell why. I mean, Moosh, he knows that he does not like uh, that he does not like the Belmonts on WarioWare. Very hard to get things set up when you're in the face, and you're going to see a very aggressive Kamina in this game number two. I would hope so, at least. Because Krom, uh, well known for his excellent mobility and just ridiculous offensive pressure when he gets in. And Belmont's not necessarily the biggest edge guarder, but they do throw out enough stuff for you to... Ooh. That was, uh oh, That was actually scary, because he managed to do the um, the stall, um, the slow dare, which is basically where you buffer dare out of hit stun, possibly with a double jump, and you don't go as, far, as fast. Because um, otherwise, that was a death. But now Kamina making it back on, pressuring with jabs. Did a dancing blade, but Moosh getting out of there with a down tilt. Oh! Ooh. Now the, now the uh, people talk about WarioWare side blast zones, and obviously so, because that's a big deal. But it actually has the tallest ceiling um, of any of the legal stages we have here. So he will die off the top very late there, and as you see, because that axe could have probably killed on another stage. But oh! But yeah, oh. throws <laughs> like that are going to kill extra early, and it's going to be Kamina suffering the first loss of stock. Yeah, that was. I think he was like. Round 120 something uh, before the before the actual throw connected because I know that is a kill throw and it will kill around like 140 on most characters, but on WarioWare that percent definitely goes down. And again, the ceiling maybe in a, on another stage. However, he is sitting at just 79 percent. So. Well, actually, if you saw from the um, from the mini map, he Ooh. Ooh, oh god. If you saw from the mini map, uh, he he died that properly by going uh, just um, out. If you die that move out, it should kill extremely late unless you get like double dive kicked up there. So. Shout out to Simon being basically Smash Bros. Bayonetta with the dive kick exclusively. But <laughs> popping you straight up. Oh, man. Right. That was, uh, yeah. How, how, scale of 1 to 10, how much are you missing Bayonetta? Uh, not much because I have Palu. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I, I lost one main, but my other main got much better, so I'm okay with it. That's right. No, you were playing Palutena in Smash 4. You had a, yep. had a pocket Palutena. Ooh, that was not a pocket. But that was a, that was a good parry to no punish. So. Well, I mean, it be later on, it ostensibly became one. But, yeah. True. 
Oh, and right in the face of yep. that Simon Belmont. I like that. He walked up, baited a spot dodge, but holy water to F smash is always going to be true. Yeah. Unless you uh, SDI that properly, which he did not. Your bread and butter, uh, or should I say bread and Belmont uh, combination there. I love the victory screen. Yeah, it's a shame <laughs> that they skipped out yeah. of it. Where it it's a, such a good throwback. It, that's that's quality. For those who don't know, that's because uh, when you fit, cleared a level, you cleared a level in the original Castlevania by collecting that red orb, and then you could only input um, A and B until the next level loaded. So he would just jump and whip, and that's just that's just great reference. I love it. <laughs> now, uh, hey, it's a game made with love. This match, absolutely. That's why we love it here at the laboratory. Mm -hmm. So, folks, once again, thank you for joining us here on uh, YouTube.com/slash Bros Calamity Vods, or indeed Twitch.tv slash bros underscore calamity where you are watching the monthly out of here in Hapro, Pennsylvania. And folks, it's uh, good stuff that we just saw from Moosh taking the set two to nil. But what were you seeing uh, that Kamina could have improved upon? Um, just more consistent pressure. Um, the Belmonts struggle a lot when you get in their face and then force them off stage to the point that they can't recover. Kind of similar to Ganondorf where like, if they still have their resources, they usually make it back, but his airspeed isn't good enough that he can usually make it back out of jump. So when he went Krom, he should have just jumped up, got in his face, pressured his shield, grabbed, throw him off stage, run off fair, fair, and get him. So uh, 